This is an emergency, I beg in urgency, this is a serious case. Happy birthday. I ask that you be open with the spirit and have fun. We're going to do be doing your five card spread. We have the cards that you chose, and I see that you did select that seventh house. So you must ask that card a question. You can't skip it, okay? Okay. What else I got to say in this piece? No, uh, no question is a dumb question, but in these readings, I do not do ancestor questions nor Arisha questions. There's uh, separate readings for those. All right, so I've taken a little bit of shuffling your cards. So your first name or whatever you like to be called so I can pray on. Do I have permission to cut your cards? Yes. All right, then I start with your second house, fourth house, sixth house, seventh house. Nice house. Sister, you, uh, I ain't gonna even sugarcoat this shit. Ooh. <laughs> hey, hell, I was trying to hide it. I can't even. Oh, boy. On my camera. Damn. <laughs> On the car. Sister, okay, let let. Ooh. I was already nervous. Okay. I, listen, 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 listen. D car talking so bad about you, I'm giving your money back. I don't even want to do this shit. <laughs> nah, let me oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I'm just breaking the ice with you, okay? I, just, you, I, I felt you, I felt you not even swallowing. I'm breaking the ice with you, okay? Okay. But, but these cars is bad. I ain't even gonna front that shit, but it ain't that bad. <laughs> oh my goodness, okay, okay, okay. Cool. All right, we're gonna start with your first card. That's in your second house. The second house is ruled by Taurus. Ooh, I gotta go on. I'm not tired this spirit. Your second house is ruled by Taurus and it's governed by Venus. Your second house represents your current economic situation. Money, prosperity, wealth, job, all in that one. And this actually has a seven of air in the upright position. Sister, either you don't have a job, uh, or you're broke. I ain't gonna sugarcoat this. You don't have a job, either you're broke, or you hemorrhage your mommy and money in a bad, bad way. But spirits say there's nobody around you you can depend on to give you a, a damn dollar. What's going on here? Why is why is everybody not giving you what you need? Um, well, I do, I do have a job. Mm -hmm. I do, but I am currently broke. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. I, 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 spirits say give it to a raw because she don't listen unless you come at her hard. That's why I'm being so direct with a smile on my face, but baby. Okay. So my question uh -huh. was to you is, uh, let me change. What is the problem? Why are you surrounding yourself with people who can't do nothing for you? Sister, this is bad. You're asking. They see you need help. You're whining. They see the they see the issues, but they just they ain't got it or can't do it. Why? Why do you put yourself in that situation? Well, um, I'm normally like in an okay place. I don't put myself out there so people really know that I may come off to them like I got it together. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. I, don't, I don't like this energy. So I'm exactly the I'm going there what people will come to. Oh, okay. So you normally the one they'll come to and, and ask, but now that you're in your time of need, they want to turn the goddamn back on you. Out there, so they, they don't know. Trust me, spirits say they know. Spirits say they know. I wouldn't even play with you and most you. They know. Because let me explain the card. This is a, these are a group of birds, baby birds, need help, support system, need a support system, they mom. They in a tree with no leaves on the tree to provide shade, and the sun is out burning the gas in the middle of the desert. And they just screaming and yelling and 
squawking. So you telling me if ain't nobody miles away, no shade, no nothing, the sun burning, the bitch can't hear you screaming and yelling, they can't see your pain point? They see it. And I ask you a question. Why did you why did you put yourself why did you align yourself with these type of people? But you know, love is most. And we're gonna get into that part too. But uh I'll leave it there. Would you like to ask this, this card a question? Uh I guess it's like a two. I want to know how I can change. Add some both. It's going to change. Right. So how? Right. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. How I can change, or is it, or, or is there a change coming? Like sure. How, so. how can she? How can she? How can she solve this solution with these people and get her money back up? Right. What's going on? Spirit says, see the truth about children. There's some with children. Yeah. There's mother, children, mother. And listen, now, I don't know if you had a mother that told you something. I don't know if your kids ain't listening to you and they don't put you in a hardship. But somebody didn't listen to an older mother figure. And this is why you're in this situation. So what's going on with that? Um, I can take my oldest son. He has something, he has something to do with that. So you, he didn't listen to you, what you were saying, help him do however. And he put you in a situation or you had to pay for something. And this is why you struggling and not nobody want to help you because they feel you can help him. Is that the energy here I'm feeling? Um, maybe, but it's, it's, it's been a while. Um, but he's, yeah, I can say he's uh, a lot of the reason why it's you know, boy is and the queen peas and I'm the real deal, mama. I just need you to say it. I could have told you that. I just need you to hear yourself say it so you can believe it. Uh -huh. Now, mother, wife, sister, I mean, you got nurture yourself, mother Mary. You got see the truth about the children and you got to listen. Now, if everybody in your family is saying you're going to let Melvin ass struggle on his own, let him struggle, mama. My auntie did that to her son. It cost that woman almost $60,000 because she got a lawyer and Paid every out of her check for three, four years. Why that lawyer worked on that boy case? I think it was like 70. Her, her, that took a toll on her relationship and everything because she couldn't buy the nice car, couldn't help with the bills, couldn't do nothing because she was taking care of her 42 year old son. Don't be, don't be that statistic, okay? Now, nah. that was one. Spirit told you what was going on. Now, nah, Spirit, how can she fix this? Spirit said, follow your heart. Spirit said, release tension. Spirit said, fertility. Okay, so you want to fix this by letting him go? I mean, you by like saying, hey, I'm done. Because Spirit said that's the only way you're going to fix this by saying you're done. And then they'll start blessing you with your money. Because they know you're just going to, you know, help out family and friends. Well, okay. I can, I, I can say I have, and he's grown up. I mean, he's, he's in college. He's doing his own place. So he has his own place. So he's been doing well for himself so and I kind of did like cut my ties like he's doing he's doing this thing now mm -hmm. so have you really cut your ties or you just ain't got the resource to help well he hasn't been asking me for anything so, and he really don't ask me for anything and, and he needed that help with the when I he was you. younger he was getting in trouble all the time so I, I can I can say I haven't he hasn't needed my help so so again, I'm gonna ask you that question. I need you to hear it, Mama. We working on therapy here. This is therapy, not a reading at this point. I'm done. I'm done. You done? I'm done. Good. I ain't have to twist your little leg to get that out, huh? No, no, you didn't. I'm done. So when you say you're done, you're saying it over this card table. You're saying it with these spirits that's helping you. If you say you're done, and you're gonna ask them to bring your money to you, bring you, restore you because you understand and you're done. You only say it if you mean it. Okay. Okay, yes, okay. So spirit restore my money to me, I'm done. That's it. They gonna they just wanted you to see it because you would have gave it, you would have helped, you would have assisted, mama. We don't raise our kids too much. I mean, we get them to a point, we help them out here and there. But if they don't put us in a sense of lack, we gotta learn to cut the damn strings so they can learn while we rebuild. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm happy. Now we're gonna go get to your fourth house. Your fourth house is ruled by cancer and it's governed by the moon. Your fourth house represent your actual house and home where you live. It also represent three people, friends and families. You might let stay in your home, stay with you. In this house right here, you have the fire element in the upright position. <sighs> now, where is so, uh, there's been talks about you either taking a little girl or a little girl coming to live with you. It's just talk. This is something you're considering. Uh, who, who is the little girl? Cause spirit is like saying, oh, please hold on. Who is the little girl? She can't be no more than seven or eight. Well, my, my, my grandbaby, she's eight, but she, she's she been living with me since she was- Oh, she's all, she, she's already in the house. She's been there since she, she came home from the hospital there. Okay, now, Spirit say this is contemplation. So now, if you ain't contemplating letting her stay with you and she already been there, 
this is you contemplating giving her back? Oh, that's not an option. Okay, so now where is the contemplation? Because there's a move you got you got to make with this baby's living situation. Are you going? Okay, thank you, Spirit. Are you going for full custody? I would. I, I would like to. So, I would like. So okay, this is the decision you got to make. I shouldn't have known about no eight-year-old girl. I'm pretty much on the money, right? Yeah. Yeah. And she living with you, the eight-year-old girl that could possibly live with you or not live with you. Spirit is creating a tunnel for you. Now, the custody situation, this is you thinking about it because you got the fire element in the upright position. The element is something you think you should do and fire is action. So they're saying you should take action about who you may live in your home, family and friends. Spirit says, make the decision to get full custody or something gonna happen where that baby won't be there. You're gonna make the decision and you're gonna have the choice to get a baby up. You follow what they're saying? Okay. Why they saying it now? Cause her, her mom is, her mom is, uh, she's, she's mad at me at the moment. Ah, there we go. <laughs> See, listen, you came to the real deal. I'm, you came to the real deal, mom. I ain't no, I ain't no, no, no shakes, these shikes. I don't know you. I don't know your name. I don't know your family situation. My car is telling me I'm, 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 I'm therapy, mom. Make yeah. the decision. But I don't know what she would like. Give. I don't know. She it's, gave so let me help you. She gave up one of the kids. How long the baby been with you again? Four years? Well, she's been with me since birth. Okay, so now, I don't know what state you live in. If you're in the southern parts of the world, southern state, if the baby only lived with you, and the baby lived with you for two or three years, and you the only parent that baby know, stripping that kid away from its one source of stability to go live with somebody else is detriment to that kid's mental psyche. And if you want this baby to grow up messed up in the head, I think that baby should stay with you. This is your conversation with DCF, with the judge, with the attorney. They're gonna side with the way the baby, and I know grandparents ain't got no right, so you don't look at that, I'm the grandparent. They you gotta die past that shit. You look, you focus on the baby mental stability. Okay. In Florida law, on child stability, DCF, guardian at litem. These are all words you need to know. You gotta go after this baby. The child's mental oh. stability, the child's home stability, I'm all that baby know. Guard him at light, they look out the kids. Get them on your side, you got it. Now, I'm not no, no court case professional, by all means, so seek legal professional help here with your court case. I'm just a Negro that done been through it. I raised all five of my children for 21 years, single father in it, so I know what I had to go through. So just throwing the words out. Okay. Would you like to ask this card a question? Um, uh, this is like what you said, my current living um, situation. This is what's going on inside your house. What you should do, need to do, need to think about doing. This is inside your house. And they say get go after custody of that baby or you're going to have to make a decision to get rid of that baby. Get that baby up. Your choice. Okay. Um, what, what about, okay, what about the, the other two that are living? Oh, you got you got more you got more than one at the house. Well, they're they're older. They're my they're my children, but they older. Are they moving out soon? Oh, so oh, are, are the big kids gonna move out? Yes. Okay. They go that helping them kids again from that first house, that money situation. But they do help out. They pay their cost. Okay. They so do. do you want them out? Let me ask that question. Do you want them out? Do you do you do you want them out? You got, listen. You called me. I'm gonna make sure you get I know, this. I know. I know. I really want, I want them to be comfortable. Oh, I'm throwing my cards down. Mother's Day just passed. The hell you want them to be comfortable? Let them grow up, get out that house and go fuck up and make problems. They, they can, but they, I'm gonna tell you what they say. Well, it's cheaper to stay here and pay you and you to so basically, I want to stay tucked under my mama's tent so I can be free and calm and cool and unscathed by the, 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 the pain points of life. And then mama can't really do what she need to do because guess what? Mama still got to look after us and stress about us. Lady, you do kids grown. You and that little baby supposed to be going on trips, vacationing, and doing all kind of crazy shit. And that's what I say. So that's what you need to do. Now I'm going to ask okay. you again. Do you want to ask this card a question about what's going on inside your household? I am the real deal and I love to my horn. Beep beep. <laughs> um, okay. Um, what about the other kids? Are they still living with you? You, you can ask anything you, you want oh. pertaining about that well, house. Uh, uh, pertaining to the moving. Okay, good, huh? good, good question. Okay, well, I mean, what would you 
moving anytime soon. Spirit, will she be moving anytime soon? Spirit said artistic expression. Spirit says stay focused. Spirit said flow of prosperity. You hear it. Artistic expression, stay focused. Flow of prosperity. Spirit say, Lord, as soon as your money get up, you getting the hell away from Dodge. Now, you're going to run away. I'm, this, this is you running. I'm just going to be honest. Spirit say, as soon as you get, if you was to, if you was to, to get $50,000 in your bank account today, you'll leave them kids in that house. Fuck the bullshit. Let's, let's talk. Let's really talk. You want them to be comfortable, so you want to leave them with a place they can let stay here, but then you will take the hell off. But Spirit say, as soon as you get your money up, you're going to move. I'll leave it at that. Okay? Okay. All right, let's go over here to your third card. Your third card is in your sixth house. Your sixth house is ruled by Virgo and is governed by Mercury. Your sixth house represents your future financial situation, future money, prosperity, and wealth. In this house right here, you have the Ace of Fire and the upside down position. Spirits say, okay, now you're, you're scared to go out there and get more money. You're scared to get a raise. You're scared to take a promotion. You're scared to even invest in stuff. You're, you're damn near afraid to ask for more money from the children. You just got a fear about how your money should come. So spirits say they're gonna do something for you. All right, as soon as you see about three crows in your front yard at the same time, three crows, three black birds in your front yard, just chilling now, front, front yard or backyard, they're gonna come to your yard and they just gonna, or if you live in an apartment, they're gonna be in front of your shit. If you there, they're gonna come there and they just gonna be sitting around talking. Spirit say that will be your sign to not be afraid anymore because they are hearing your prayers and your pain points and they are talking, communicating how they're gonna bring money to you. Cause your your sacred animal is the, the crow. Okay, 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 okay. Would you like to ask this card a question? Uh, you said this is the sixth house? Your future money. Future money. Um, am I gonna okay? Am, am I gonna stay in the same field that I'm in now, or am I gonna do something different? Spirit, what what are future looking like as far as career wise? Same field. What you say? There's a power of joy. What you gonna be happy? Balance career. And boy, they think I'm playing with the cards. They got another goddamn thing coming. Spirit say power. <laughs> Spirit say power of joy. Balance career. And this is what you asked about. This is to be good. Balance career and work life. And Spirit said, priority. Power of joy, balance career, and work life, power of joy. Spirit says you're going to be going to a different field, but in the same kind of like department or in the same energy. So let's say you work for transit, the transit department, instead of driving the bus, yeah, it's going to be in the office. You follow me? It's like you take a lateral move, but in the same energy field. Okay. So what you do for a living, kid box monkeys? Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. <laughs> no, I do. Um, I have my own salon. I do hair. Oh shit, so if you do have, do you own the building? I don't own the building, I read. So, hmm, in the same, so spirits say in the same field, just you, you're gonna move from actually driving the bus to motherfucking in the office. They just said, gave you that analogy. So you're gonna, from renting the booth to opening up your own important. Let's get it together. <laughs> Let me read these cards, because you, you think I'm playing. You just think I'm just a pretty face uh, no. on. You think I'm a pretty face on the internet. I, I can't help it. No. Power, listen, power of joy, six house of future money, power of joy, balance, career, and home life. This is all about your, your work. And then they said priorities. Power of joy means you're happy. Balancing means that you, you got your, you got your strong or what you're good at. Priorities mean it's time to elevate. Mama, consider opening your own food. Consider opening your own business. Them boys, up, them, them kids don't know how to be a barber. Send them to barber school. Everybody need to be working in the damn salon. You have a, a shampoo girl, a barber man, all that shit. A, a, a sweep up person, the little eight year old can sweep up the damn floor to hell. Watch the tower. You don't get you a business going with this. I, I see you smiling through your teeth now. Don't 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 make me I, blush. I, I okay. So I have. You said something about artistic, like the car before. I was, yes. Um, I, I have, okay, so I have the salon. I've been a business owner since 17 years. Okay. I, I love to write. So how does oh. that correspond with this money you're going to make? And you finna write books, finna write poems, advertise? What we going to do with this writing now? I wrote a book. I wrote a, I wrote a screenplay. Um, oh. I wrote a and I wrote a stage play, and I have other material. You need a leading man? You need a leading man in that motherfucker? I, I do, I do. <laughs> I, I, know they, I know Hollywood, they make you drop about 30 pounds. I dropped the 30 pounds, put me in the play, cast me in the role. <laughs> <laughs> but I've been doing hair 
there since I was three. I think that's just natural. So yeah, basically, just, that's the passion for it's, it's, writing. So basically, what I'm hearing is, Baron, I, I see what Spirit's saying, and I, I, I'm good at what to do. I can do this half. I've been my own person doing half. That's my thing. But baby, I, I know how to write a script and a movie and get that bitch to play. I know how to write dialogue. I got this. That's my passion. That's so, what I do. I already wrote a book and self-published. So, they, uh, please say your book link on your video. We all gonna go to Amazon to get that bitch up. I, I for one, I support anything my soul try to do. So, you can say the link when you're ready. But, that being said, I don't see why you can't write the plays and still open up your own business. I don't see why you can't make this a family affair. I don't see why, unless you just want to get out of the hair business like, totally. But Spirit said, you're gonna, you're gonna stay in the same field but transition from one spot to another. The only transition I can see you going from being a master stylist is to is to owning the, the, the building and the, the employees itself. Then now you got free time while they end up generating you money from cutting hair and doing eyelashes and styles and all that stuff there. Now you can sit in the shop, in your office, writing books and screen plays and making calls. Okay, I can see that. Don't worry, you got the baron here. I'm going I'm gonna help you see the big picture. This is solution based. <laughs> All right, so we good okay. on this six house? Yes. All right, don't make me come up there with yet and drop kick you. Say I need to say I got an appointment to get my hair retwisted, and you be like, who is this? You look at me, I'm like, start the business. See, that's what I specialize in. You locked? What? Yes. Oh man, I ain't even gonna front. I think old girl rushed me locked, but they look good on me, so I ain't too mad. Okay. All right, let's go over to your seventh house. Your seventh house is ruled by Libra and is governed by Venus. Your seventh house represents your relationship, the couple dating, matrimony, love, romance. In this house right here, you have the nine of earth. <sighs> yeah, the nine of earth in the upside down position. Now, are you trying to break up with somebody later? Because spirit said you, spirit said you taking all your power back. You taking everything. You done dried it up like the Sahara. You just trying to get rid of somebody. I don't know who it is. But this brother is not favorable in your ass right now. <laughs> Spirit say you trying to break up with this person. I get it. You done with it. Uh, yeah, Spirit say you done with it. Uh, what's going on with the end? And I'll give you a chance to rebut in a second. So what's going on with the pubic area? Spirit say it's something about the pubic area. They didn't show me the phallus or, or the vagina. They saying it's where the hair at in the pubic area. It's like it's like you're not you're not happy in that area with this person or maybe they showing me the growing area I'm just that's all they let me see but what's going on within the uh sexual compatibility department we'll say that I mean I'm just um I guess I'm not I mean it's I don't know I think it's me I think it's me because um you know got hold of, of age um low libido I'm just you know busy just working 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 and, and it's like sits on the background. So then I met this guy and so I'm trying to do the feminine thing. Like, okay, so um so I went, you know, to a, like a hormone therapist. Mm -hmm. you know? Yep. Now no, I had my um and I was telling him I think my little video was low. So we did some testing and everything and it was so um so I think it was more so me, you know, not enjoying sex because my mind be like everywhere. Like, and I wasn't feeling it, and it just not, I can do it out, but it wasn't fair to him. So, so you I mean, got, you know, help. So you start pulling back. Um, I, I don't know, I don't know if he's the one for me. I have that question mark. So, so let me, before I ask that question, if he's the one for you, are you gonna try and get a couple of you try to get some uh, hormone therapy so you can make sure your libido come back because uh -huh. I'm telling uh -huh. you, okra, okra water is a motherfucker. That is how you slip and slide. What uh, that? Okra water. Okra, okay. Okra <laughs> have you slipping and sliding. Yes, okra have you slipping and sliding. Also, also, uh, for a woman libido, she, you, you have to eat a lot more water vegetables because let me explain something to you. And I know I'm being a little graphic, but this is educational, we all adults. The more cucumbers, this is why women love cucumbers, right? The more cucumbers, uh, vegetables that increase your, your female water intake, because you know y'all retain water more so than men. 
that engorges your clitoris, believe it or not. You know, so the more hydrated a female is, the more her clitoris is engorged, and that increases the stimulation with it. Now, this is what my Italian doctor said to me. So this is what I knew. So I, I'm going off his words. I'm, this ain't proven fact, people. I'm just telling you. He say, have your girl eat a lot more cucumbers, anything that has a high water concentrate, uh, hydration, 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 and say that during that hydration, she's the liquid and the emotion and the and liquid carries the, uh, yeah, liquid carries emotion. And you gotta think about it. that thing down there is all in gourd. Now you're going to the bathroom, that 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 piss feeling, that scream every time you piss, that's a vibration tool. I know a lot of women like pissing. They are like, ooh, I love it. And okay. Can you imagine that there? Now you're sensitive down there because you're wiping so much, you're raw and it's juicy, and now you're coming like a goddamn faucet. It's, it's exciting. Get your water in, take up cucumbers, okra water, get right. But that's the question. If spirits say this man is the one for you, will you do everything you can to make sure the sexual experience is gonna be great for both of you? Oh, yes, yes, most definitely. All right, would you like to ask that question then? Yes, I will. So. Spirit, is this the right person for her? Is this the right person for her? Spirit said, oh, shit, I, I, I told you, girl, this, I wanna get your money back. This car reading was so harsh. I'm trying to make it. <laughs> Spirit, is this man the right one for? God, is this man the right one for? Well, let me tell you something. The reason why, and, and this, now you gotta decide. I'm gonna tell you. So, Spirit said, let it go. Is he the right one for you? Let it go. Is he the right one for you, twin flame? Is he the right one for you? Find a blessing in your current situation. The reason why you can't really feel this person is because he's your twin flame. And nobody's supposed to be with this. Nobody's supposed to be with a twin flame. He is what God put on this earth to teach you a lesson so you can chase his ass and he can chase you. It's a back and forth thing. Y'all are too perfect for each other because y'all the same goddamn energy. And spirits say this ain't gonna work. Let this get rid of this shit now. I swear, twin it. flame energy, though. I don't want no part of it. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> oh my goodness, I knew it. That was like, I don't know. Do I, do I be? Because we got so much in common. And I, and I told him, I said, I think you're my twin flame. <laughs> Listen. Two things you don't deal with is your polar opposite and your twin flame. These are motherfuckers that will teach you a lesson. You better tie your ass to a soul tie quick. Get a get a soul tie, but the twin flame, no. Fun, 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 I get it. It's their energy boom. Uh, polar opposite, they gonna teach you a goddamn lesson. And boy, but this dude right here, he y'all too perfect together, just like they said. Find a blessing in your current situation, but they say let it go, because this is your twin flame. Even when you let him go, when you stop wanting him, he gonna want you. Then when he start like, baby, I wanna marry you, you gonna be, I don't wanna fuck with you, man. I'm done. It's that energy. You can't beat your stuff. It's like that now. It's like that. I'm telling cause spirit say you pull it back. I shouldn't have known anything about your relationship. If it's not me, it's him. If it's not me, it's him. <sighs> oh, thank you, spirit. Ah. We got one more card to go. I'm going to, I'm, I'm being nice with you. I'm taking my time with you, sister. Cause I knew you were kind of upset. All right. Let's go over here to your ninth house. This is your fifth card. Your ninth house is ruled by Sagittarius and is governed by Jupiter. Your ninth house represents your future, your reality, what's gonna be going on. And again, this house is bad, but I'm gonna make it smile for you. In this house right here, you have the enslaved prisoner in the upright position. Spirits say, even with all of this information, mama, you're gonna stay status quo. You just have a sense that you don't go outside your normal pattern. I could set my clock with your ass right now. You are a slave to your existing pattern. Would you like to ask this card a question? Okay, um, this is future. Yeah. Okay, yes, I wanna know what's, uh, okay, is there, is there a significant way? Be in Arizona. Spirit, what's so going on? Spirit, what you, is there a significant? Will she break up pattern if she go to Arizona? What's going on? Spirit said, You can do it! Spirit said, Listen, hold on. You can do it! Come out of the closet! 
Come out the closet. What else, spirit? Spirit say communication. Hell, that's where your writing gonna take off that. Write. You can do it. Come out the closet. Write. That's a hell. Your next character need to be based in Arizona. Make it about you. I don't know anybody in Arizona. I just call it. Because know why Arizona coming up, sister, because that's your destiny. You have predestined yourself to win, and the place you're going to win is Arizona. This is your mindset and your heart and your body knowing. But Spirit said you got a problem. You're just going to stay the same way because you're not going to take that move. You have to look deep inside yourself and say, I want to win for once. You don't let your kids anchor you down. That's why they say get cuts of that girl, so get cuts of the baby. So that you won't have no, oh, I, you can't leave 70 miles without my daughter, you know, or the court do all that shit. Or, and somebody, you got the shit going and somebody come and yank the baby from you or some shit. You never know what people think. Get, mm -hmm. get cuts of the baby. Start your own business. You need somebody, you need somebody to fund your lifestyle, to fund your trip. You gotta go visit the place at least once to put your energy down. Yeah. That there. And then with yeah. this man, Drop his ass off. Oh, Y'all done had your fun. He'll circle back around eventually and get you somebody and get you in so you can get where you need to go and life up there. But yeah, don't don't be the enslaved prisoner, but spirit say this is where your mindset at as of this reading. You're trapped. Oh wow. Okay, okay. I can accept that. I, can well, accept I, 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 mean, I, I, I don't want you to accept it. No, I know where I have to go. This was good. This was good. This was good for me. Mm -hmm. I'm the best tarot reader on the planet. <laughs> yes, you are. Yes, you are. <laughs> oh. Yeah, because oh, when I first laid these cards out, I, I said, Lord have mercy, am I going to have to get this woman a refund? What? Because spirit, she is not doing good. But we worked it out. <laughs> oh, I'm just making you laugh, Mom. I want you to be... Listen, you got a you got a beautiful future ahead of you. If you follow the rules that these cards have laid out for you, mom, you got a beautiful future, and I would take it. I wouldn't take no for an answer. When we hang up this phone, this is you writing your story how you want it to be, and you you as a main character writing how you want your life to be. This is something you will put on your altar, and you will read this thing as much as you can and create okay. this life. That that go your superpower. Okay. Okay. All right. Did you enjoy your reading? I did. All right. Well, do you want to shout out the book uh, on here so people can go to Amazon or wherever you got it to buy it and stuff? Uh, your video. Um, if you don't, if you don't, feel, if you don't feel comfortable, don't force it, mom. No, because I, I want to remain anonymous on this. <laughs> 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 they gonna get my book. They gonna show it. Uh, okay, I got you. Because uh, you didn't use no pen name. You just used your real name, huh? Okay. <laughs> They'll think I'm some, some European man in, in England somewhere. <laughs> but yeah. No problem, no problem. Okay. Well, if I come across your book, I'll, I'll buy it then just because. Because I know your real name. You put it in this thing, I'm assuming. Glad you're talking to you. And uh, if you need to reach me, you know how. All right, everybody. Our sister is destined for nothing but greatness. She just got to get that energy out and get to fear. She's too caring. That's the problem. I'm seeing that a lot with a lot of women nowadays where their heart is bigger than their, than their goals and desires. And we have to stop that. As humans, as people, we may have the capacity to help, the want to help, the desire to help. But if we don't get a little selfish with our shit and help ourselves, we can't do nothing for nobody, people. Let's remember that. And this is a destiny for greatness. She writes. Screenplays. I can't say her name. I left all that out because and I ain't gonna put your book, her book in here because she didn't want it. But when she ready to reveal herself, watch out now. I'm gonna be the leading man in that picture. You see Baron acting, it's her place. Alright everybody, I'm the Baron telling you guys to trust in you and the universe because at the end of the day that's all you got. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you all. Consultation is your actual reading. That's the one that you're getting. So the way the consultation works, I'm gonna explain it to you. So the way the consultation works, 
uh, during the allotted time for the reading, you get to ask as many questions. And I'm not tired of that spirit. During the allotted time of the reading, you get to ask as many questions as the time permit. No question is a crazy question. Uh, I do not do or reach questions or ancestor questions in this uh, consultation reading uh, because I have a reading for those. And that's how it works. Now, okay. I gotta shoot the spear to you. As you know, I'm a direct energy reader. Don't believe in reading zodiac signs or birthdays. I ask that you be open with the spirit and have fun. Doing your consultation during that time. You can ask as many questions as you would like. The time permit, no reach your question, no ancestor question. Oh, excuse me. Sorry again, that's spirit. I ask that you be open. I ask that you be open to the spirit and just have fun with the reading. Alright? Alright, I'll take a liberty shuffling your card, say your first name or whatever you like to be called so I can pray on. Do I have permission to cut your card? Yes. Yeah. Alright, what's your first question, sister? Am I going down the right path? Spirit, is this sister going down the right path? Spirit say be more specific. When you say path, is it work? Religion, uh, that type of stuff. Um, for, for my personal life, like, um, am I making the right decisions when it comes to being with the person that I might be with for the rest of my life, like my my partner, my husband? I'm single, but I'm trying to do the right things to be in a good relationship. Okay, Spirit, are you guys satisfied with her trying to do the right thing to be in a relationship? Uh, I swear I'm not tired. I took my old man nap today. This is spirit. <laughs> spirit says follow your heart. Spirit says communication. Spirit said nurture yourself. Spirit say yes. You're see you're you think you're doing this to get get a relationship. Spirit say this is just a match. What you're doing, you're doing this to make yourself feel better or to alleviate all the bad shit you done did. This is very good. So you are on the right track. Oh God, you got me yawning so much. Whoa. <laughs> this is crazy. Okay, so I don't know how to word some of the things that I've been thinking. Okay. But I feel like when things are going great in my life, it's only for a short time period, like only for a couple months. It never lasts for like a year or two years. And then something happens to where I am struggling or I'm not doing so well or, you know, I'm that high only lasts for a short period of time. Okay. So that's why I was like wondering if I was headed in the right direction. And then I feel like with my love life, I've never been able to be in a loving, you know, good relationship. Like I feel like I've had toxic relationships. Mm-hmm. And, mm -hmm. and so like when it comes to being sexual, I am not being able to experience what I want to experience because I'm always alone. Gotcha. Okay. So, so this is sexual well, sexual frustration, sexual tension, <laughs> and uh, uh, paired with a little depression. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. So what's that question? What we're gonna ask Spirit a question about this. Why am I not able to enjoy sex? Ugh, Spirit, why can't she really enjoy herself sexually? What's going on? What's the block? Where is the block? Uh, health and healing, okay. Fertility and family, kids, I get you. Fresh start, health and healing. Fertility and kids. So you don't have any children? No. Well, are you having sex to have children or are you putting in all the precautions and stops? Because they're saying health and healing, children, fresh start. Like, if you start having oh. sex to make babies, this would be a good thing. Not just having sex to get a rock off. Because I'm sorry, sister. Uh, whoever you decide to mess with, get them tested. Because that condom is going to come off. You is not going to enjoy the rubber. Uh, okay, I get that. But I have not been sexual to get pregnant because I have uterine fibroids. So that so, so it's painful. Been, huh? No, it's not painful, but um the like I don't think uh, um a fetus would be able to form because the fibroids are in the way in my uterus. So they got ultras they got the, the sound wave that can uh get them out. You know that right? Well, well I I've had surgery, but it didn't get all of them out and I had surgery again. So I'm gonna have to have surgery again in order to. And this time, and this time they talking about taking the whole thing out. No, no, just the fibroids, but um, 
I feel like the first time they didn't, they got the ones on the outside of my uterus, and then the second time they just got the one that they seen on the ultrasound. But when that one got taken out, another one popped out. Hmm. So yeah, it's been an ongoing well, process. They keep saying health and healing, talking about a baby, and fresh start so no matter what you keep saying that you that you don't think you can make one spirits say you're gonna start having sex when you try to make a baby you already just answered your own question by saying I don't think I can make one I haven't been sexually active to make one because of the fibroid tumors until notice what the spirits say and when you go in I'm finna take this meat this this turn them off I'm finna take this meat properly roll and he clean I'm clean and I'm finna make a baby and once that thing start going like that, now you got something, you got ambition. But right now, you're too busy thinking about your health. Oh man, if I do do it, then will it be right? Will he jam something up and shit? Seriously, think about making a baby. So get your old boy tested and y'all go for what you know. Then you'll start enjoying it. You need a purpose, sweet. Okay, uh, well, first I gotta find the right mate because I feel like, so my next question was gonna be, why do I attract you want a real nigga to answer that or you want spirit to answer? <laughs> Can I get both? I'll let spirit do it. I've been getting too many real nigga statements out here. <sighs> spirit, why does she keep finding people that take advantage of her? What's going on with this energy? Energy healing. Father, husband, brother, son, spirit. Don't do this to her. Persistent. The only reason you keep finding people that want to take advantage is because they're not taking advantage of you. They're using, the reason why you stay sick is they're pumping their nasty ass energy up in you. The guys that you get and y'all get to having sex, biting on you, whatever, rubbing, touching, feeling, all that toxic shit from drinking, smoking, cursing, bitching, all they demons are getting pumped into you. And now you are getting sick. This is where your fibroids coming from. These people are making you sick. So spirits say the condom do come off when you fuck. Hmm. Uh -huh. So you're not using protection. So this is what's going on. So what make you, so the reason why you can't do it is because you sitting up there trying to save these toxic nut nipples. So now let me, let me give it to you real nigga style. You ready? Uh -huh. So I, I used to mess around with this chick way, way back when. 15, 14 years ago. Uh, yeah, now yeah, no, why 20 years ago? It's a lot of chicks in my day. Good night. So this is about 20 years ago, messing around with this chick. And I was so caught up into the, the into the street life and the and the dope game and I was hurting people. And you know, like so, you know, with the little people I was running with, you know, we would hurt people. So I would get sexually excited, you know, after busting a bitch up inside the head with a bat or shooting at a motherfucker or cutting a bitch. I was out that that shit turned me on. So I would go over there to this chick house and I'm knocking her down with that nasty energy inside of me that, that mm, I just hurt that nigga, uh, I just hurt that bitch, uh, I just stole 10 keys, uh, uh, you know, I just sold, I just made 50 grand and one, I'm having that toxic energy and I'm screwing that girl and that girl kept saying, you know, hey, hey, Tyke, I'm sick. She's like, I gotta go to the doctor, something ain't right down now. You know, and I'm like, okay, I'll go with you. So we go to the central clinic. We both get tested. She cleaned up clean, but she just couldn't be right. The pH was off. All that shit, it wasn't until I grew up and I understood that my emotion transferred into her vagina wall. And I was making, throwing that girl pH balance off, not because I was an unclean cat. It's just a simple fact, the anger, the rage, the emotion. I'm fucking her, jamming her down, imagining all the dirt I'm doing. So you sitting up here trying to save these motherfucking thugs and these motherfucking people who got their own issue. So the next time you, you know, get the knocking somebody off or you go for the selective, you say, hey, all right, I need you to be happy. I don't need you to come over here and just fuck me because your lady mad at you. I don't need you to fuck me because your boss piss you off. I don't need you. You, you follow me here? Yeah. So the reason why you keep attracting these motherfucking niggas who just ain't doing right is the simple fact that you are saving them. They are just dumping their nasty energy up in you. The reason why these fibroids keep coming back it's the simple fact that they dumping that negative shit inside you. Come on, mama, we got a thing. So even though I want to have sex, I'm just going to have to abstain until I can get the right energy. Or you can tell the motherfuckers, hey, if you're coming over to my house drunk, don't come over. If you got problems with your old lady, you done argued that day, don't come over here. If you got issues on your job, don't come over here. I need you to come over here smiling, happy. I need you to come over here loving me, rubbing me, caressing me, touching me. Ain't nothing just no... 
No bite on you, get me wet, then jam it up in. Now I can see the whole motherfucking plate. Do you really want me to get deep into this thing? Yes, I want you to be all the way with you. Okay, so this is you just taking shit from these dudes. And I don't see no romance around you, sister. I don't see nothing. I don't see no romance. This is just your people. You cool, home and love a friend, however you play it, whatever the title. You just allowing that person to come there and do it. And it's not multiple, believe it or not. It's just, it's one. It's one. Yeah. Let me see this one. I want to see this one here because I really want you to put his ass in check. What's wrong with the teeth? Do he got buck teeth or he got gold teeth? Which one? No. Something wrong. Something, I ain't going to say something wrong with the teeth, but it's somebody's teeth that's distinctive. Oh. Spirit, give, develop this cat a little bit more. His color is brown. It's like he looked really decent in a brown shirt or brown, unless he worked for UPS. It's, it got that energy brown and teeth on him. So, so... Who you who you dealing with on the regular? Who who you let come over there and, and just do what they do with you? Well, nobody right now. And in the past, they call, let's let's go in the past. We ain't we ain't talking about right now, cause these these you got the issue going on now. We'll keep it in the past. That's what I'm trying to think of because I've only talked to one person um, since 2022. So. It could only be maybe it's the person that I talked to before I left Georgia. Okay, so so you only been you only been letting one cat come over there and and do what they y'all been doing what you're doing since 2022, right? Yeah. So describe. But, so go ahead. What? Then go ahead. I'm, I'm here to you. I'm just gonna say the person, the most recent person. Um, I don't feel like he has any issues with his mouth. The somebody. Well, what if he just got beautiful fucking teeth? That could be spirit just focusing on his mouth. Okay, but if that person is over and done with it, um, that was just a flame, and it's done. I'm not talking to that person sexually anymore. So how? So when when you say anymore after 2022 person? This guy came after him, right? The, uh, the 22 person was the, the very last person I was um, okay. into or sexual so, with. So that means you ain't screwed in a year? No, not since the beginning of this year. Like none in 2023. Okay, none in 2023. Okay, so that's six months. Now we get somewhere. So six months, darling, and you don't think that this dude got issues. He wasn't your man, was he? No, he wasn't my man. Street cat, power cat, what? I, I, I want you to understand what spirit he's is. A pro, he's a professional guy. Um, he, we work in the same field, but I knew it wasn't going to go anywhere because he already had a woman. There we go. Now listen. Now, imagine all the stress that brother got going on and he coming over there doing that shit to you. Spirit say, this is the one. I'm just okay, trying. Well, I'm, I'm definitely not going to, you know, go, go there. But go there it, okay. Um, now, Spirit said anybody decide, to, anybody you decide to come to, they need to have an attitude adjustment. It need to be passion caressing. I don't give a fuck. I need to be revved up, baby. This is what you tell them. I don't care. You want to get the passion and the toxic energy away. So, uh, Spirit just gave me an analogy. Okay, think about a candle. You got your, your vagina, your womb is a candle where the fibro is at, okay? These are candles. Now, until you light that candle and make that make that wick start going down and melting that wax to alleviate and make that puddle of water where that, that wax can flow, it's just gonna always be a hard piece of wax inside of you. So the problem is you need more compassion, you need more tenderness, and you need more love because that uh, because a woman vagina don't thump, you know, when it comes time for sex, she it be her her uterus be like, damn, damn, my baby finna come in this bitch probably. You know what I'm saying? They like this is prepping, procreation. And if that if ain't no sensual talk energy coming up, I I I I am not a womanologist here. I'm just telling you. But well, you're making sense. I get you. That's why I said I'm gonna have to abstain until I find that one. I can't just be doing it just to be doing it. I have to have someone I connect with. It's now that's it. That's what I wanted to hear. Not abstain till you find that one. You have to find somebody you connect with. That's why Spirit is saying the sensual passion and pleasure needs to be there. And then you go to it. Now it's better for you. Okay. I was trying to explain that without being all up in your business. Come on, Baron. Just, I'm, I'm not sensitive. I want you to give it to me wrong. It don't matter. I'm good. <laughs> 
deliver a damn message. They, they be right, but they just don't, they <laughs> delivery suck. No, my mom is a Virgo. I'm, I'm a Libra. What? Y'all the most I'm nicest, like, y'all the most <laughs> nicest speaking people on the planet. Y'all, I don't want to hurt the fly. If I hurt the fly, I'll die. Okay. Maybe no more. Maybe I was like that before <laughs> I died. You know, I found out what the real world was. <laughs> um, but I'm on the cusp of Scorpio, so maybe that's a little Scorpio. I don't know. I don't know what. Okay, so now nah, you want to know about your job, the people on your job, or the issues on your job? Uh, yes, I want to know what do I need to do to be a better professional. Spirit, she want to know how can she communicate better in the professional world. Spirit said, teacher, offer, get education, trust, and freedom. Uh, first thing first, Spirit say you need to uh, work on your vocabulary. See, it ain't the fact that you can't communicate, it's the fact that you're not using the proper uh, vernacular vocabulary. So, if you're in a medical field, instead of you saying, nope, you can't go there, you, be, you can say things more like, like, that's restricted. The less words you use, uh, it's prohibited. It's pro. It's it's restricted. That type of stuff. It's the it's the, they say get educated on the vernacular and the wordplay of it all. You can keep this stern attitude because if you don't, they're gonna run all over you. You in communication. Okay. It's just the wordplay. Gotcha. Okay. And going back to how like I have short highs with my life. Okay. When things are going good, I'm usually focusing on myself. Um, like I'm Like, I have been living for my mom instead of living for myself. Like, taking care of her, taking care of my siblings. So I'm like a parent to my siblings. I'm like a grandparent to my nieces and nephews. Okay. So, Spirit, should I be more selfish? Spirit, is it time for her to be selfish? I'm going to say, is it time because you was that energy for a reason? Spirit, is it time for her to be more selfish? Spirit said, flow of prosperity. Spirit said, yes. Spirit said, you can do it. Flow of prosperity, yes, you can do it. You're going to save a hell of a lot of money, and you're going to do the right thing. Spirit say, yes, it is time for you to be more selfish, focus on you. Let me ask you a question. Uh, uh, do you, do you, have you got Reiki healing yet? Have I got what kind of healing? Uh, Reiki healing. No, I've never heard of it. Reiki. You never heard of Reiki? No. Okay, Google Reiki. And I want you to look up some professional uh, brothers and sisters who do Reiki. And is it R E? Yeah, R E K I, I think. Okay. Look it up and look for some professional brothers and sisters. You're a female, so you may want to go with a chick and have them touch your touch your upper wound area where your fibroid things on the outside. You know the part. Mm -hmm. And have them push that stuff around and heal. You're gonna need extra energy because Spirit said we skipped over the whole caressing part. You need tenderness, you need caressing. And if you can't get it from a man while you wait, then you need to get it from a massage therapist, basically Reiki. Have them follow follow your fallopian tubes with the thing like that in the, in the reverse heart, and that should do it. So we gotta fix that energy there. Okay, I'm making those. Okay, um, well that's basically it. I feel like I have my other questions. Question is <laughs> <laughs> so we got a little bit more time. Let me see, make sure see what time. We got five more minutes. 